Hey everyone, welcome back. I just wanted to do an update. You may have seen the video that I put up about wanting to start watercolor. So I bought this Prang 16 color half pan set. So it came with this brush and I bought a little bit better quality brushes. So I bought these Princeton Neptune series and this one here is actually a, a new one for me. It's a number six quill. But anyway, I decided to record the first time that I painted um, with the weird thought of, you know, oh my gosh, what if I'm really good and I don't record it? You know, will I be sorry? And it would be cool to kind of document to see you know what my very first painting was like and I'm not sure if I'm glad that I did or if I'm sorry that I did let me move this and I'm gonna do something that I've been thinking about for a while since actually painting it um, I wasn't sure if I was gonna show this or not because to me um, it's kinda horrid so what I used was this Strathmore watercolor paper it's a 400 series I got it at Hobby Lobby. Um, I think I used a 40% off coupon on it, so I got it like dirt cheap, really, really cheap, like a couple of dollars. Um, and that was kind of the first paper that I bought. So I set everything up, I got my paints out, I got my water and my brushes and all that, and set up my camera and hit record and started painting. And I had been watching tutorials about how to do bookmarks um, and I thought you know something small would be the easiest thing to start with and so I kind of had watched so many that I felt like I had it you know kind of memorized and I knew what I was going to do so I took my brush and I went towards the paper with it and I sort of just let loose and <laughs> it was horrible so <laughs> these are the three that I did, the video that I watched, um, she painted three, I guess in a row, like she worked on one, let it dry, and then she'd work on another one, let that dry and go on to the third, and then go back to the beginning one and start more on it and kind of rotate through that way. Well, so my first time I thought, gosh, you know, I could do that too. And <laughs> oh my gosh, so on this one here, I actually forgot to wet the paper so I was trying to do uh, the wet on wet technique where you put the paint on and you know it hits the water and it kind of feathers out from there um, and I actually did pretty much dry on dry so the brush just didn't have enough water on it and I don't know if you can hear this but like it sounds scratchy just from the amount of you know paint that's on there um, and I was trying to do a galaxy. Um, I really wanted to paint those, so that was going to be my first attempt. And as I went down, I could see that it just wasn't going to happen. So then I thought, well, maybe I can make it like a sunset. <laughs> so I put what was supposed to be grass here on the bottom, and I put some orange up um, before this black was all the way down, and some red above it. And I thought, well, you know, it's coming out okay. And then I tried to blend it more, and for some reason I put in some more black. And so anyway, before I knew it, black had taken over this whole painting, and I figured it was just, it was done. It was ready for the trash. So then I let that dry, and then, I don't know, it was a couple days later, I came back and I had watched a different tutorial um, about kind of doing a oh like a landscape kind of sorta of. it was supposed to be a loose painting um, I'm really attracted to the loose painting style and galaxies um, or you know Milky Ways in particular and I don't know I just figured I would start with those and so I did this one <laughs> and it's equally as horrid um, I did some blending down here and I got a really cool like I don't know, a blue, kind of a turquoise in here. Um, I don't know. I'm not even sure looking at it what I was thinking. Like the sky is kind of pretty, kind of. I mean, there's some colors in here that I don't hate. 
um, then I thought I would do like some flowers or like wheat stalk looking things but I used green and everybody knows that wheat stalks usually in a painting aren't green they're sort of a tan or a brown <clears throat> so I did that and then I thought well maybe I can make them flowers and so I put these red splots everywhere and the more I worked on it the more I started hating it so then I just got sort of frustrated and I put this silly little bird in there and then I drew a sun and I sort of just called it quits on that one and then this monstrosity was after I don't know, a couple days after this one this is supposed to be a galaxy um, but it looks like a eggplant um, sitting on top of a broken egg yolk in a purple pool of I don't know what um, and so I just quickly <laughs> I quickly gave up on this one when I saw that it wasn't going to work out this was supposed to be the dark band you know that runs through like when you see the Milky Way um, and no matter which way you hold it it just it doesn't turn into that at all so I got really frustrated and I thought you know I'm not gonna do this anymore it's too hard and you know I went through that for a couple of days and then I thought well maybe I'll just try a different style or a different technique um, and so I decided I would try and paint this old abandoned house that I drive by every day and they're actually tearing it down and I have a picture of it on my computer and I can't find the original file of it the, the original JPEG so I'm my only picture of it is on Instagram and so I brought that up and I said you know gosh I'm gonna paint this old house because I really love it and I took brush to paper and I painted this and I mean <laughs> it sort of looks like a five-year-old painted it um, I don't hate it I don't like it I mean there's some pretty colors sort of up in here I guess and then I tried to do the house and you know I got some of the angles right at least I think they are and then from there it just went downhill the tree and these bushes and you know then I started not liking this at all and so I just let it dry um, and I worked on it I think the next day thinking maybe I could salvage it or fix it and I didn't um, so I have this uh, something it looks like something that I would give to my mom to hang on the refrigerator when I was about six years old look mommy mommy what I made you <laughs> um, so there's that so I mean you know I know I'm new and I know I've never watercolored before and I didn't expect to be you know this amazing watercolorist um, but I was kind of hoping it would be a little bit better than that so then I thought well maybe I'll try some different paper maybe it's just this paper that I don't like um, I know that you know new paper isn't gonna make me a better painter but I thought maybe there was something to the paper that I didn't like you know it wasn't really blending the way I had seen in all the videos so I thought I would give it a try so I went out and I bought some arches 140 pound watercolor paper and I tried the bookmark thing again you know I kind of started back from uh, kind of square one and I thought well I'll paint a galaxy on a bookmark and I did this and I don't like it so <laughs> it's got like oh here let me get these out of the way it's got like pop rock looking things let me get it up here close so you can see whoops it's got like pop rock pop rock looking things in here um, it's very fluorescent uh, I'm not quite sure how that happened and then the black just didn't do what I wanted it to do um, you know it's it was amazing paint or uh, amazing paper um, it just didn't really blend the way I was hoping it would and so then I thought well I'll try another one because maybe on this one I'll be better and actually I think it goes this way um, no it's not any better so I had actually even bought some gouache 
Um, I bought uh, Windsor and Newton gouache, the permanent white. That'll focus on there. It probably won't. Um, and that's what this horrible splotch is right here in the middle is gouache. Um, there weren't really any colors on here that I liked. The black took over again. Um, and I just didn't like it. So then I thought, well, I'll just try another one. <laughs> Maybe the third time on this paper is a charm. So I did this one and it's, I don't know. I don't like it. Um, there's some colors in here that are pretty. Um, I got it to kind of blend a little bit better. I took the gouache and I did that thing where you flick it on the paper and it's supposed to make stars and it didn't and so then I took a white colored pencil and kind of drew some stars here and there and that didn't work out and I thought well maybe I'll draw a comet shooting across and so I blended the color pencil with my finger and that looked horrible and so I sort of just gave up on that one too and then I switched gears and I thought well maybe I'll paint I don't know something random like a goldfish you know I, I have this really strong attraction to goldfish so I looked up a photo online and I had it up on my computer <laughs> and I painted this goldfish and I don't know, I don't like it. Um, there's some things that I do like. Uh, let's see if I can get up in here. Come on. Up in here there's some white kind of blending with the black and the orange that happened pretty nice. Um, this came out real fluorescent looking and I tried some salt on here to see if I could get it to texture like I've seen and kind of all of it all it did was make it sort of darker in here and then the tail I don't know it's come on focus come on the tail is okay I don't know I just all in all I don't like it so I got frustrated again and I was going to quit and just, you know, like quit while I'm ahead or quit while I'm behind and spending, you know, the money that I spent so far, which wasn't a lot, but, you know, it was more than I wanted to spend to end up with results like this. So I gave up for a day or two and then I thought, you know what, maybe it's the size I'm trying. I don't know. Maybe it's too small. Maybe I'm not supposed to paint bookmarks right now. I'm not really sure. So I took some Arches paper and I made a bigger one. Um, this is a, let me see what it is here because now I don't remember. It's a six by nine. Um, and I thought maybe that would work better. So I painted this and it kind of fools you. So under my light that I use to to record these it looks bright it looks kind of vibrant and sort of neat let me get this out of the way this is kind of distracting and when you turn the light off it looks dull and dingy and <laughs> something that needs to go like right in the trash um, I did the gouache flicking thing again so you can see that and the blob ended up going down this way. I kind of wanted it to go across the page, um, but it actually <laughs> went the opposite direction of this black blob. So then I took the brush and sort of painted some, put it back up here so you can see, painted some spots here and there, trying to do it randomly, um, but I am not random. I like to have everything symmetrical, and so that didn't work out. And I got some good blending, I got some good color, um, all up until I put the black on. As soon as I put the black on, you know, I put too much um, and I didn't like it. So I think I'm done with black. Um, I've watched a lot of videos where people that paint don't even use black, you know, they'll mix colors. Um, and they'll kind of make their own black and maybe now I see why. So then I thought, well, gosh, maybe I'll try a size in between. And so I cut another piece down to a four by six and I thought I would try another loose painting, <laughs> another landscape. And that's when I did this, it would focus. Um, and I don't like it 
I mean, I like some of it and some of it I don't. Um, I sort of went like mixed media on this as I put some acrylic paint on as well. Um, the clouds, I couldn't get the good effect of, you know, taking a paper towel and daubing away the paint to get the clouds. So I took some white acrylic paint. Um, it's actually craft paint. You're probably going to laugh, but it is this, <laughs> this uh, Delta Creative. Gosh, I wish this would focus. Delta Creative Ceram Coat. Ceram, Ceram Coat White Blanco. Um, craft paint and did the clouds with that. And I don't hate the clouds. You know, I don't like them. There's some spots up in here that I like and some that I don't like. And then I took a, oh, a marker that I had bought from the dollar store. I found some really good permanent markers and some gel pens um, from Dollar Tree. A little plug for Dollar Tree. Uh, they have some pretty nice low budget art supplies. I mean, some of them are not very good. Some of them are. And that's what this is, is a black um, permanent marker, fine tip. I thought, oh, I'll make some branches and it's going to look amazing. <laughs> it does not. <laughs> so I did down here the little, come on and focus. I did down here the little dots thinking I could make it look like, I don't know, willows, not willows, um, cattails or something like that. Um, I don't know. That I, there, It doesn't look like that. And these I thought well gosh you know I can make them look like flowers and make them sort of impressionistic and loose and flowy and it's not um, the mountains they're okay but you know I know it sounds negative that I'm just bashing every painting um, but it's just <laughs> it's so frustrating to watch you know people that can do it and you think gosh you know I could do that and you try and then it's like oh um, but what I have learned is through all of these, even though I don't like them, you know, I didn't throw them away. Um, the old me would have just crumpled these up in my hand and I would have thrown them in the trash, but I decided to keep them. And then kind of what I did is I put a spin on it. I looked at every one and I said, what is it that I like about this one? Where did I put the book? The book, you know, I, I opened it up to and I looked and I said, what is it I like about this one? Um, and there were some <laughs> like the eggplant that I didn't like at all. Um, I guess I can paint an eggplant. That's awesome. Um, everybody should know how to paint an eggplant on a broken yolk in a purple puddle of whatever. Um, but that's not what I was going for. So I spun it and I said, gosh, you know, I really like the coloring in the sky right here. Uh, it blended well, it's pretty, um, and that's about all. This one, I couldn't find anything that I liked. And you know, you get my point. So I just tried to be positive and think, there's gotta be something in here that you like. Like there's a color right here. It's the tiniest little area, but it's super cool. Like it's a neat color. It's got little splashes of star things like right next to it. Like if you cut this right here, it would be almost like a postage stamp, um, but it's not. <laughs> and then, you know, I just went through them all. So if you're watching this, if you're curious about trying to paint, if you want to try it, just try it. You know, the worst you're going to do is paint an eggplant on a broken egg yolk in a purple pool and you can just keep trying um, and I'm not gonna stop you know these are <laughs> these will be fun to look back on and laugh and say oh my gosh those were horrible and you even did a video and put it online so that it's there forever um, but it'll be fun so I started thinking too, like maybe it's the paint. Maybe I just don't like these prang watercolors. You know, the, ugh, of course it's going to be hard to open. Eh. The colors are, I don't know, they're vibrant in the pan. And, you know, when you mix them, they're vibrant. Um, but when you put it on paper, it sort of just, all that goes away. 
and it looks like the fish so it looks kind of fluorescenty and it looks you know like a little elementary school kid did it well of course that's probably just me but you know what I'm saying like maybe the colors look like they're kid paints which you know basically this is what you would get when you were a kid and you would try and paint um, that's what I would have wanted when I was a kid I never got them but <laughs> I wanted to and so I thought well gosh you know maybe it's the paint so then I watched a two way too many videos about paint and all the different kind of levels student grade uh, artist grade in between grade and it was mind-boggling because there's so many so I kind of narrowed it down to one that's kind of a student grade um, but it got some good reviews and I watched some people paint with it that you know I've seen do some pretty amazing art well I saw it with the prank too so that doesn't mean anything the paint doesn't make you a good artist it's actually your talent or your skill so I decided to get these Van Gogh paints um, I got tubes thinking well I'll paint uh, from a palette at first and then maybe I can paint you know from the tube it's supposed to give you a little bit better color when you paint from the tube it's supposed to be a little bit more vibrant um, so I bought Quadacridone purple red ultramarine deep indigo and permanent blue violet and I, I really do like this indigo let me show you I swatched it out and I'm gonna wrap this up here in a second but I swatched them out this is the blue this is the indigo it's a little bit dark um, but right in here there's just a little hint of the blue that it shows um, but way up here on here at the edge where it's dark it's almost like a black but it's different than the black and the prang so I really do like this indigo so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it wasn't too long and too gabby I know that sometimes I kind of ramble on and I just wanted to share this with you and let you know what I was up to if you like this video click that thumbs up for me if you haven't already consider subscribing to see more videos and until the next time thanks for watching